feel? Get back out there, regular season environment, and come away with the win on top of that. Uh, I felt amazing. You know, the energy from the fans um, was amazing. You know, but just being able to be out there with my teammates, um, you know, have my family in the stands, um, play again with, you know, everybody on the team that just gives me confidence, just feeds me like positive energy, positive everything all week long. And um, just to get out there and, and play with everybody again felt amazing. Um, well, it was a choice I made, so, you know, uh, I knew it would come someday. You know, it was just all about staying ready and just being ready to do my part. That's been my 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 goal ever since I, you know, became a Bill. Mike, there's so much positive to take away from today, but losing Tredavious the way that you guys did, you know, reflect on that and how big of a potential loss that might be. <clears throat> yeah, a ton of high, a ton of lows today. Um, obviously, we start off with just D-Ham, just him being a part of, of, of today, getting back on the field. I um, mean, you know, I'm, I'm so proud of this guy right here, and I said it way back when, um, just to see what he went through and been there for each and every step to see D. Ham come back, put the pads on. Um, you know, mentally, I prepared myself to get back ready for this season, and, and that's not even close to what, what D. Ham went through. So I'm going to start off saying I'm, I'm extremely proud of him. It's my brother right here. I love him to love death. You, love you too. Um, and then another brother went down today. Um, obviously, wins and losses are a part of the game, um, but Seeing one of your boys go down like that is always tough. <clears throat> Seeing Tre'Davious, you know, work through what he what he went through last year, getting back Thanksgiving, um, and and kind of working his way. Seeing that positive energy. Seeing Tre'Davious White be, you know, himself over the last couple months, and and um, I, I just uh, as a brother, man, I'm, I was extremely excited for him. And then to see that happen today, um, you know, it's sad. Um, you know, forget the game, forget everything that happened today. Just. You know, two seven is a big part of this team. Um, one of our brothers been here for a while together, and um, just like I just said, highs highs of highs and lows of lows today. Michael, you're the one right there. Um, you were right with him as he's on the turf. Um, how important did you feel it was to be there? And, and I mean, all what of, are you trying to say? I mean, all of us, all of us were were you know there around. Did, I honestly didn't know really what was going on. He you know he knew what happened. Um, but we are all there just trying to talk to him. And, and you know, sometimes at, at that point, you know, there's really nothing you can say. Um, you know, it's it's kind of one of those situations that, you know, words can't really help True Davis at that point. So we just, you know, when when stuff starts to settle down, you know, obviously he, he understands we're there for him. We love him. Um, and like I said, 2 seven's a big part of this team. I mean, of course, we we heard a lot about it. You know, that's a that's that's pretty rare to happen. Uh, it's pretty, uh, um, you know, watching the tape from last week, big play after big play after big play after big play. You know, not just from the receivers, from the backs, from the quarterback, from everybody. So, you know, we knew going into this game. You know, ultimately, we're a defense that tries not to give up big plays. Everybody can say that around the league, but we've been successful doing that since 2017. So, you know, we're going to stick to our DNA. And from there, let's roll the ball out and see what happens. So that's kind of our mindset. I apologize. What, what happened in the second quarter, Trey? I think you guys came up with three straight stops there toward halftime after they scored on, on, on a couple of drives. What was it that you were able to kind of hone in on and execute? Because it really changed the complexion of the game. Um, just settling in. You know, obviously, offense like that, a lot of stuff behind the line of scrimmage, you know, kind of capture your eyes. Um, you know, you can see it in practice, but you know, we don't we don't have you know ten and seventeen. You know, I have a scout team; they do an amazing job. Nothing to, nothing against them; they give us amazing looks each and every day. But you know, it's not ten and seventeen that's that's out there running it. So um, they were doing a lot of that, and for us, it was just you know more about just settling down. You know, it happened to us honestly the last two weeks with the Raiders and and the Commanders, um, just kind of settling down, and we're able to do that after you know giving up fourteen points, but um, ultimately. You know, we were able to uh, to get some stops. Uh, 
Uh, field position is everything um, in the game. You can win or lose a game by just field position. That's something we preach all week. That's, you know, it's a fundamental of coming into a game ready and, and, and preparing to win. So, you know, just trying to do our part on special teams, just getting our defense and, or our offense in good field position. So, you know, it'll over the course of a whole game, you know, it'll, it'll be the difference. Uh, very important. Um, that moment meant everything to me. You know, I think it was more so about proving something to myself than anything else. Um, just showing myself that I, I have the courage, I got the strength, I, I got the the pride. You know, everything, all of those words. You know, in me to be able to go through something so traumatic, um, and you know, be able to come back from it, and still to be able to still do what I love at the highest level in the world is, it's just. It's amazing, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And um, I, just for a second, I want to speak on T.Y. Um, you know, in Cincinnati, I was in the hospital, you know, watching T.Y. sit at the same podium, speaking so highly of me, you know, and I, I watch him come in the building every day and, you know, work his ass off. You know, he's probably the hardest worker on the team. And, you know, just being a young player, you know, they always tell you, like, find some older guys to, you know, find yourself through, you know, by their routine, by the way they carry themselves, by, you know, just who they are, who they become over the league. And, you know, Micah, that's a big one, you know, and, and T. White is another big one, you know what I mean? From a distance, I'm a, I just admire his work ethic. I admire who he is as a person, his consistency, his discipline, you know, everything. So, you know, we, we're with him for sure. And, you know, I just want to extend my love and speak highly of him the same way he did of me up here.